Good morning. Is it still morning? It is just about still morning. I've had a bit of a slow start today. Um, this is the just got out of bed look. Well, not actually quite, because of course, I thought we'd put a bit of a spin on it um, with those lovely holiday pictures that have been posted around. I thought I would put on my holiday glasses for this morning's live. Uh, so good morning to each and every one of you. Uh, just something really quick. I'm knocking up in the kitchen this morning uh, and I'll show you that a little bit more imminently. It's literally a bacon wrap, just how I like it. Quite, I'm gonna say quite simple, but it's probably not that simple. Here is Birmingham city centre on this brand new day, so a brand new week. Uh, this morning. That was the A38 over there. Very quiet this morning. Of course, it's it's a bit grey and wet this morning. There's two. There's, there's fine rain coming down. And there's me wearing my holiday sunglasses. Uh, so I'm just going to finish making up. Good morning to all of you that are joining on. Donna Robinson, Joel James, uh, Sammy Barnes. Hello, nice to have you back. Um, who else? Rick, Zoe, Mitchell. Hi to you. Andy James, good morning to you. Are you not working? Or are you still working, Andy? Obviously, you're part of uh, key workers, aren't you? British Transport. Am I allowed to say? Police. As Bill Gavin would say. Oh, the police. Um, so I'm just cooking up some breakfast. This morning, like many of you, <laughs> this is me, uh, me casual, just got out of bed, shorts, vest, sort of lounging around at home day. Now, one of the tips I have been told if you're working from home is get up and then power dress, have your shower, get refreshed, nice and early in the morning. Ah, oh, there he is, look, good old Judge Rinder. One of the club. Uh, Phil and Holly, always there to put a smile on. And of course, Alison Hammond will be on shortly, who's from Birmingham. She's amazing. Um, and she's trying to keep the nation's spirits lifted with those funny video clips. Okay, so I think this is pretty much ready. And literally, this is breakfast. I just wanted to say hello to everybody. Um, give you a bit of energy in the morning with me holiday glasses on. Barry Shields, hello to you. You'll remember my holiday glasses from Gran Canaria all those years ago, won't you? Uh, what are you doing at the moment with your time, Barry? So here we are, breakfast. I'm not gonna eat it off that tray though. I'm gonna put it onto this wrap that I've already preloaded with a little bit of sauce because I do like my red and brown sauce mix. Does anybody else have red and brown sauce together? Um, because some people look at me and say, red and brown together. But that's how I like it. I like the, um, the tomatoiness of the red. And I like the spiciness of the brown. And it just works together. It gets the flavours going. Uh, Jagpole, good morning to you. Good to see you on here too. Um, so I'm just going to put this up here. So I can talk to you just while I uh, put this wrap together on here. Now... What I've gone for this morning, in fact, let me show you a little close-up. Really simple. Some salted bacon, which again, I put some honey and chilli over. Very mild chilli. It's actually a honey chilli, um, which is this one, which I'm told actually you can't buy in the shop because this is made from uh, Nando's very own bees and you had to be somebody to get one of these. They only made 100 of them or have only made 100 so far. And this is pot number 25. Uh, and these are made from the bees on top of the Nando's head office, uh, which I think is in London. Um, and they have their own um, beer, beery, what do you call it? Beekeepery, is that what it's called? Um, so I've put some of that over the bacon. Uh, then I've just sliced the mushroom, chestnut mushroom, uh, some baby plum tomatoes, uh, a little bit of onion in there, and then I put a couple of slices of cheddar cheese. And we're going to put that onto here. It's a really simple breakfast for a very simple fill. And I'm just going to put that on. I'll show you another picture just before as I start to wrap it. Ow. 
it's hot. So good morning to all of you. Jerry Loon, I've just seen you pop on as well. I hope you're well. Uh, obviously, I know you work in retail, so I, I guess you'll be all closed down at the moment as well. Uh, I hope that you and your partner are keeping safe and um, business will be back together as soon as possible. Um, lots of things going on all over the country. People trying to entertain the masses, keep us all happy through using social media like this. Um, how many of you are just pigging out at home? And I've mentioned this a couple of times, but it seems the easy thing to do, doesn't it? Just eat, eat. <laughs> just What else do you do when you're at home? You eat, you put Netflix on. Um, obviously, the self-employed, the entrepreneurs out there are maybe getting stuck into some work. The mothers are looking after the kids or it might be fathers looking after the, the kids as well. And there's plenty of jobs to do. Yesterday, I scrubbed all the decking down on our new terrace because it was a bit of a state. I'm not going to lie. In fact, to say a bit of a state was an understatement. It was black with green mildew all over the top. Um, and between Steve and I, we were scrubbing and God knows what for, for ages. Loads and loads of hot water and um, flash. I was trying to think, what's that stuff you use on the floor for cleaning your floor? Flash. Uh, and it has actually come up really lovely. It would have probably took a lot less if we had a pressure washer, but we don't in this apartment. So um, so we, we just used good old uh, elbow grease, something you can't buy in the shop. Elbow grease. Um, so there you are. I've put my wrap together. <laughs> Hang on. Can I? You're not supposed to suck your fingers in this time, are you? Uh, I saw Nando's put out a tweet saying, uh, it was quite funny actually, it made me laugh, saying, who would have thought that finger licking chicken wasn't the thing? <laughs> and then KFC replied with, uh, oh, so the floodgates are open. So that'll be interesting to see if uh, those take that any further, playing each other up. So here is my wrap before it's wrapped. So we've got the uh, chili honey bacon, smoked bacon there. We've got some cheese, cheddar cheese slices. We've got a little bit of onion, some uh, plum, baby plum tomatoes, which have that extra sweetness to them. And we've got a sliced chestnut mushroom. Emma Jones, good morning to you. Congratulations to you and Charles on your new arrival to the family. Uh, in such difficult times, but what a great time to be born because imagine just coming out of all of this with new life and happiness in your family. I wish you every single bit of happiness. So I'm just going to roll this up. So I'm just going to put this back here. Julia Rose, there you are. What do you think of my glasses then? Hey, suit me. I've got a picture with some glasses. I might actually post them later on. When you see me post them later on, um, I'm stood on a beach somewhere and they say happy. So I want you all to uh, make a note that I've said that right now and I'm going to post them later. Has anybody else got any really nice pictures of you wearing glasses or funny ones or a wig or something quirky? Maybe that should be what we start to post this week. Last week was holiday pictures on a beach. This week should be crazy pictures of us wearing something silly, maybe. Um, so I hope you're all keeping well wherever you are around the country or around the world. Um, you know, it's crazy times at the moment, but we've just got to look after each other. We've got to communicate like this, make sure that uh, we're spreading the joy and some energy and just doing our best to get through a rather difficult time. I got home from the radio show last night and my partner and I opened a bottle of wine. Well, two bottles. Three bottles of wine. Um, and I actually, naughtily, I needed to stock up and we hadn't stocked up um, because the wine we'd been looking for, they hadn't had in uh, some of the supermarkets we'd been into. So I had to buy <coughs> uh, some of this one, which is uh, a Sauvignon Blanc, Marlborough, New Zealand. And I went to buy, was it that? Oh no, it was this one, Villa Maria. So I went to buy four bottles of that. And remembering what they've said in the supermarkets, I asked if it was okay to buy four bottles. And they said, yes, that's fine. And then I got halfway around the supermarket with me four bottles in there. And a manager came over and said, sorry, you can't have four bottles. You're only allowed three. 
And I was like, oh, right. I said, you remember the staff said I could have four? No, 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 it's just three. I said, okay, no problem. I said, oh, question. Are you allowed to have three of one and three of a different brand? And they was like, yeah, that's fine. So I ended up, instead of four bottles, I ended up with three bottles of each, um, which I'm not complaining about because it just goes in in the old pour room, the fridge there, and it's on hand to uh, enjoy any time that you want to. Uh, so, look, let's see some crazy pictures going out there today. It's Monday. Let's start the week with some brightness and vibrant colour and us sharing some incredible experience. Four reds last night. Oh, Les, what do you like? Well, if I'm going to be honest with you, Steve and I got through two bottles there. This And this one is lovely. If you haven't tried this, the Oyster Bay... New Zealand Pinot Noir is absolutely incredible. And then we got through another bottle and a half of a cheaper one, but it's still lovely because this is from Chile. And this is called uh, Comme Soir. There you are, with a bicycle on the front. Oh, that's very apt for you. <laughs> um, yeah, so two and a half bottles, which was lovely just to come home and chill out on a Sunday with a glass of wine. Um, but maybe we can uh, all share our pictures later or maybe an image with a glass of wine. Not that I'm encouraging anybody to drink. So here's my wrap. Here's my breakfast. I've, I've wrapped it together. I didn't actually fold the ends. Uh, and Steve would be telling me off for that right now because it's all about folding the ends. I've left the oven on. But actually, oh no. I'll leave it at that. Right, okay. I'm going to go. It was just a quick good morning. Um, get sharing those pictures today of you in weird and wonderful things, whether it be glasses um, or crazy holiday pics and those sort of things, and I'll do mine imminently. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.